of you like to get sales? How many of you want more sales? Let's hear your ring, Annie. Tell me, what time is it? Well, my time. I've got these dollar fifty pennies. Can we sell them? This company is about culture. What happens to us is that by doing this twice a year, these store managers are getting to hear directly from the people in the company about what's important in this company. We're going to add 50 million square feet to the retail footprint of Walmart around the world. against women especially. I can tell you some horror stories about the way they treat some of their suppliers. It's just unreal. We cannot protect American standards if we trade with countries with child labor, forced labor, and slave labor. And that's where Walmart gets us. They're exploiting workers by the conditions that they have them working under, by the low salaries uh, that they pay them, and by depriving them of benefits that workers are entitled to. What Love it or hate it, Walmart is one of the greatest powers American business has ever seen. This year, its annual sales will approach $300 billion. It's the largest private employer in the United States with over 1,200,000 workers. Walmart sells more DVDs, groceries, toys, bicycles, guns, diamonds, engine oil, bedding, detergent, dog food, sporting goods, CDs, socks, and toothpaste than any other company in the world. It's this country's biggest film developer and optician, its largest private truck fleet operator, consumer of energy, and real estate developer. 82% of American households made at least one purchase at Walmart last year. To some, Walmart is an example of capitalism at its finest, a retailer whose low prices allow people of limited means to live well. To others, Walmart is a predatory monster responsible for low wages, suburban sprawl, and lost jobs. Good evening, I'm David Faber. Tonight, we take an unprecedented look inside Walmart. How did it become one of the world's most powerful companies? And is that power good or bad for America? Walmart is not the first company to dominate retailing in the United States. In 1913, the now extinct Woolworth Corporation surveyed a landscape of a thousand stores from its skyscraper in Lower Manhattan, then the tallest building in the world. The Sears Tower is the tallest building in the world, 1,450 feet. 60 years later in Chicago, another dominant retailer would build a record-setting tower designed to reflect its then record-setting stature. And now there is Walmart. Its headquarters in Bentonville, Arkansas, will never set any records. You expect to see this huge corporate headquarters, and, and you will drive very, up, and it, it's, it's very, very humble. Regular down-home kind of regular place. Looks like an old grocery store converted. Yeah, <laughs> Inside, threadbare carpets, gunmetal gray walls, and tiny offices, even for top executives. Walmart operates from the same small town where it was founded. The company's CEO works behind the same desk, looking out on the same parking lot that Sam Walton did when Sears and Woolworth were far bigger than the tiny discount retailer he founded in 1962. If you listen to the outside world and you said, why is Walmart different? 
that say the people who don't particularly care for us might list all the things that you might have asked me about, whether it be health insurance or wages or whatever else.